Last week, John Meyer took us on the Pennsylvania Road to the site of an old CCC camp in Sullivan County. We learned about how big of a role those camps played across the state during the Great Depression. This week, John takes us on an adventure that was common for the young man at that camp, and it leads to quite a discovery. The mountain didn't change very much. Our visit to the remains of Camp Morton took us back more than 80 years when young men came for a job and some food in the midst of the Great Depression. Civilian Conservation Corps, or CCC camps like this one in state game lands, dotted rural America as the men built roads, parks, and planted trees. But it wasn't all work here in Sullivan County. When you think of jumping in there, how cold that had to be. <sighs> yeah, I mean, even in August, I'm sure it's freezing. Bill Williams from the Game Commission helped us match old photos with our surroundings. And as he researched this camp, Bill found this photo and stories about The Rock. When they said we're going to The Rock, everyone knew what they meant. Bill felt he had to find that rock and he wanted to show us what he discovered. That meant finding a fallen log to shimmy across the stream. You may have to switch back a little bit. And a climb, scaling the mountain that went almost straight up. There was a surprise along the way, a waterfall hidden on this steep hillside. I imagine they used this stream as a guide you know, when they when they hiked up there. But when they and we arrived, there was no better place to sit and catch your breath. Trees now obscure the view a bit, but the rock matched the photo. And the feeling sitting where so many young men did generations ago was a powerful one. It was satisfying to find the rock, but what made it especially uh, poignant for me is I found some uh, a name on the rock that was chiseled back in 1936. Etched in the corner is the name Tony Skura. When Bill found that, he had to know more. Tony was from Hanover Township near Wilkesbury, who worked at the CCC camp, and then... He went on to uh, serve in World War II on the USS Balch in the Battle of Midway, uh, and that ship was instrumental in saving hundreds of lives off the sinking carrier USS Yorktown. 60 to 70 percent of the young men who served their country in CCC camps served their country at war. Tony Skura, just one of them. Uh, I got to speak to his granddaughter in North Carolina, and they were thrilled to find out that his name was uh, forever, essentially uh, etched in stone here on uh, Huckleberry Mountain. The CCC boys are a deeply American story, and the climb to a big rock really personalized that for us. John Meyer, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Sullivan County.